High school football playoffs are in full swing, and a couple of our Columbia County teams are playing their respective Super Regionals today. And News 12 Sports Director Dan Boot joins us live now from Greenbrier High School, where the Wolfpack are hosting one of the Class 5A Super Regionals. Meredith and Will, high school softball teams across the state of Georgia are still fighting to keep their hopes of winning a state championship alive. And for the Greenbrier Wolfpack, their next step in that journey is winning the Super Regional they're hosting today. Now, I'm joined now by Jason Osborne, the head coach of the Wolfpack. Coach, earlier today you got your fans going with a nice 20 to nothing win. What, how important was it for you guys to get that first win in the Super Regional and then get those bats going early? Just coming out swinging the bat the way we did and uh, sometimes getting girls to play early, early game, sometimes tough. So that was good to come out and, and uh, be able to play a quick game, kind of save our pitch and save our energy, and then be able to kind of sit around and watch some of these other teams play today. You know, and, and to that point, you guys are home. You know, there are a lot of teams that have to travel, including all these other teams to come here to Greenbrier. How important is it for you, for your team, for your school, for the community, for you guys to be hosting an event like this that not everybody else gets to do? Being at home is huge. Um, early on in my coaching career, I, I didn't really realize that, and I had some mentors that always kind of beat that into me. But uh, being at home is huge. Uh, we leave here tonight, we get to go sleep in our own beds and kind of stay on our own schedule. So anytime you can be at home, that's, that's a step in the right direction. And uh, Hopefully we can make it work. You know, and you guys are playing in a few minutes at 6 o'clock here. Taylor Schneider has been fantastic for you guys in the circle this uh, so far these playoffs. What has she meant to this team, her leadership, and the amount of innings that she's been able to put forth in the circle? You know, I, I don't know how to, I could put all this in in just a couple of minutes, but just, um, just the way she threw us all on her back last week to win a region. Uh, she's been great in the circle for us all year long. Her leadership's been good. Um, she's had some ups and downs, and she keeps going right through it. Uh, so, so being able to, um, you know, being able to come out here and put her in the circle makes us feel a little bit better. Well, Coach, thank you as always you for your so time. Much. Good luck today, all right? All right and they're you. playing their second game of the day in just a few minutes at 6 o'clock. Field prep is about to wrap up here, and then they're playing Union Grove. And I'm going to have the latest updates from everything Greenbrier softball later on this evening. Reporting from Greenbrier High School, Dan Booth on your side. All right, thanks, Dan. They won 20 to 0. I know. We both were like 20 matchup. to nothing. That was a pretty good start, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> it, it goes to show you just how good the Wolfpack yeah. are this season, and that home field advantage, like Dan was saying, can be very helpful in this situation. So.